HSC TV and HSC News are public forums for student expression. Students make all content decisions and opinions expressed do not represent those of HSC schools or the Board of School Trustees. Good afternoon, HSC. I'm Alex McGraw. And I'm Alex Brammer here with your newscast for February 14th. Do you remember when you were an anxious little 8th grader sweating the reality that high school would bring? The Royal Rumble helps incoming freshmen learn the royal way in the week before school gets started. To get there, we need the upperclassmen to show them how. Join us as a mentor for the Royal Rumble. If you are interested, plan to attend the mentor call-out meeting tomorrow at 7 a.m. or 3 p.m. in Ms. Gallon's room J124. Get excited to rumble! Are you looking for an inexpensive way to spend a few hours on Valentine's Day? Bring your date to the Hamilton County Mock Trial Competition at the County Courthouse in Noblesville to see one of HSC's two mock trial teams called Vandals R Us and Ghostbusters. Action begins at 6 p.m. and admi admission is free. And now to Jerry with Club News. Alex, do you want to buy a treat for somebody special? Stop at the Make-A-Wish table at lunch and buy a candy gram for only $1. You can also buy one if you see a Make-A-Wish officer in the hallway. All candy grams include two pieces of candy and a note you can personalize. Tomorrow is your last chance. They'll be delivered on Friday during second and sixth period. All donations will go towards making children's wishes come true. Although the 15th Amendment granted African American men the right to vote in 1870, local officials in many areas maintained policies such as poll taxes, literacy tests, and carried out acts of intimidation and violence that denied people the civil right. Unable to vote, African Americans, especially in the South, were not able to elect officials to represent their interests or create change. It wasn't until the Voting Rights Act of 1965 that these discriminatory practices were finally ended through federal legislation and enforcement. One of the pivotal movements leading to this historical legislation was a protest march from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama, led by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on, Feb on Friday, February 23rd. Students and staff are invited to watch Selma, the historical drama. The movie will run from 3.15 to 5.15 in the Little Theater with refreshments before in the Library Media Center. Don't forget to check it out. What role should social media play within our political system? We wanted to figure out what role it currently plays, how it compares to the past, and predictions on what role the future will bring. Let's go to Ian and Kay to figure this out. During President Trump's administration, his use of social media, specifically Twitter, has been commented on and critiqued by the media and the American public. But is his use any different than presidents from the past? Trump's use of the media to influence the public and share his thoughts is nothing new. That's, the, that's called the informal power of the bully pulpit, and that's been around since President Teddy Roosevelt and has evolved. So as media has grown, we had President Franklin Roosevelt with the radio and his fireside chats, and then President JFK, President John Kennedy with TV. And so as media has grown and advancements in technology have been made, so has the president's use. I think uh, he definitely uses Twitter more than past presidents. The only real presidents that have been able to use it since Twitter's been so recent have been mainly just Barack Obama. And I feel like his use of Twitter back then wasn't as frequent or as controversial as Trump's has been. Uh, I think it can, if it can, be, if it's used correctly, it can be positive. He can be more transparent and communicate easier with the American public. Uh, negative in some parts where people can look at his past tweets and find stuff that would make the United, United States as a whole look worse because they're seeing people from other countries can see his Twitter and think that that's how this country is being ran. Well, I think we would be naive to say that it's going to go away. You know, I think it's only going to develop. But as far as what role it should play, I think it definitely is fast communication. And so as far as how it will continue to develop, I don't know. But I, I think it will just, it will continue for sure. For HSC TV, this has been Ian Baker and Kate Hartman. Now to your main anchors. We currently do not have any sports announcements because we're in between winter and spring seasons. Have a vibrant Valentine's Day. Don't forget to follow HSC TV on social media for more news and school updates.